So the local developers behind a new earthquake early warning app say it can actually give you a countdown to when the shaking will begin. Quake Alert USA is made by a Santa Monica based company called Early Warning Labs. And right now I'm joined by their founder and CEO, Josh Basham. So talk to me, Quake Alert USA. How is this different? How does it work? All that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's. It's been a long time coming. We've been a partner now with the U.S. Geological Survey for over five years now. Mm -hmm. And part of that partnership that we had with them was to create a consumer application that we would launch at no cost to individuals like ourselves uh, to be able to get earthquake early warnings directly to their, their phones. And that was a, a, a small piece of our research, but that was uh, one of the most difficult things to actually accomplish. And we finally were able to get this app out to the public a few weeks ago. To save lives, of course. I mean, we're in earthquake country. So tell me more about this countdown feature. And, and because there are several other apps that are out there mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. LA has one. LA has one, yeah. So LA built uh, one called ShakeAlert LA, uh, much different than ours. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, ours took a lot longer to develop because we wanted to add in features that we feel were life-saving, right? We wanted to give people as much information as we knew that they wanted to be able to get that vital data to make a decision, right? So we provide the end user a countdown. Uh, we tell them how bad the shaking is gonna be. And we tell them other sort of information, how big the earthquake was, how far it was away. But most importantly, when you get an alert on the phone, a push notification pops up, it says, strong shaking in 47 seconds. You click that, you open it, it shows you on the map, it shows you directions of to drop, cover, hold on, and then of course it's got the countdown, which is, we're the only app to have that. And we've had this app you know, running on our phones internally right. for four years now, and we've had some significant earthquakes. I was gonna say, you've, you've already kind of tested it yeah. out, and it's given you at least a few seconds to get to a place where you can drop, cover, and hold on? Yeah. And actually watching the phone yeah. as it counts down. Wow. And sure enough, you know, I, I know all the science and everything behind yeah. it, but still it's fascinating to me to see as soon as it hits zero, within a second or two, the whole building yeah. starts shaking. It's, it's pretty incredible. The accuracy. Uh, tell me about the thresholds. Um, and, sure. and you can modify this because maybe you don't want to know about some earthquake far away. It's just going to be barely registering anything yeah. for us here. Yeah. So we're a big believer about notifying people for all the earthquakes that they want to know. Unfortunately, we have to follow the federal guidelines that are set by the USGS, and those are specifically, um, we can alert for earthquakes that are over magnitude 4.5 mm -hmm. and over intensity three. Now that's important because you can feel an intensity two earthquake at your location and you'll actually feel shaking, but we're not allowed to send an alert for that. So there's some frustration, you know, people there, there's a lot of confusion about, you know, magnitude versus intensity, kind of what the difference is. Yeah. The main difference is, is magnitude is where the earthquake is, right? When you guys report it on the news, you typically say it's a, you know, it's a uh, intensity 4.7 earthquake mm -hmm. and it was over in Northridge. Mm -hmm. So for what, what we actually deliver to the end user is something called intensity, and that's a scale of one to 10. And that's specifically how bad the shaking is gonna be where they are and that's just based off of really how far they are from the earthquake, et cetera. So that's the important number. Because Ridgecrest brought up a lot of concerns. Yes. People in here in LA say we should have been notified through some of our apps. And yeah. I mean, technically, yeah, we did feel a lot of the shaking. Yeah. But. And there's still some questions there about whether yeah. other apps worked and whether right, they didn't right. work. I can say that ours did work. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of scientists and reporters and wow. people that had our mobile application that were able to get 47 seconds of warning wow. for the shaking. That is just critical. Yeah. Um, just be when the countdown starts. It doesn't mean you know you have that much time to take action. What are you telling people to do as soon as they get this alert? Yeah. Don't wait. You still need to what? So the most important thing, so you can mitigate roughly about half your risk of dying in an earthquake or, or a major injury by simply just dropping to the floor, covering underneath a sturdy piece of furniture mm -hmm. and holding on mm -hmm. until the shaking stops. That's the it's best thing that you can that do. That's simple. That's simple. I mean, and you, we, so what's next? You want everyone, I mean, across the country can download this and? So yeah, so we have the, the federal authority right now to launch it in all of California. Mm -hmm. So every single resident in California can actually install the app and use it. And we're working right now with the state of Washington and the state of Oregon to launch it in their states 
as well. So we're hoping to have this across the whole West Coast and wherever the, uh, the USGS Shakler data yeah. feed is available to us. Two quick other questions for you. I mean, this is huge. It's a free app. Yeah. How are you guys making money? And then also talk about what it does to your phone because it does drain, a lot of these apps drain sure. your battery very quickly. So address sure. those two things. Yeah, so our, our, our mobile application, we take security very seriously. We take personal privacy very seriously. Uh, we do need to know the user's location. We don't continuously track that. Uh, the app needs to know when they move and go somewhere else, so we do need the access to that location data. Every time they move and we get a new location, piece of information, that completely overwrites where they were prior to that. So we have no idea where the person goes or anything like that, like other apps have been you know, criticized to do. Uh, so that's a, a nice big benefit yeah. of, um, of, our, of our mobile application. Uh, ours, we haven't had any reports yet of people complaining about it draining batteries Good. or anything okay. like that. Um, you, you don't know, want a dead phone. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you, when you it, it does, it does yeah. no good for us, <laughs> right? right? Um, and of course, you know, you ask how we, how we make money. Yeah. Right? We're a business. We need to survive. We right. need to pay the bills, the power bills, light right. bills, and, right. and pay our And our come staff. up with this technology. Yeah. Means. You know, our, our main goal and our team, I'm so proud about our team, is that we care about saving lives. That's it. Okay? But of course, yeah, we have to make money. So we are ultimately an enterprise SaaS business. So we work with large organizations like cities, um, like the LA Metro train system, where we're integrated at actually the entire portfolio, so all LA County. So all the buses, all the trains are all protected by our platform. Wow. So we integrate that, we play audible alerts. We're in LA City Hall, so in the mayor's office with the police, wow. fire. Everyone in the LA City Hall is protected by our platform that's installed. And it's a small, small device that integrates with the PA systems and buildings. We can control elevators, we can prevent entrapment in elevators. Wow. And that's really how we kind of focus on doing that. We, um, a big piece of news, which really hasn't been uh, reported on yet, um, I can talk about that today, is that we integrated with uh, the entire Cedar sinai Hospital. So if you're getting a procedure, uh, or you're being treated there, or having a baby there, uh, in the event there's a large earthquake, our platform will notify everyone in the hospital. So it'll notify the surgeons, the people in the basement, the people running the critical machinery. To make those steps necessary to save lives. To save lives, yep. That is fascinating. Well, I'm glad we asked that question. <laughs> that opened up a whole, a whole nother interview that we now want to yeah. do about all the city services that depend on this. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Well, come back soon and talk to Absolutely. us. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, if we do have a minor earthquake or something, I mean, that'd be interesting to call you back. So yeah, we'd love to talk we'll about it. We'll be in touch. It, Thank course. you, Josh, so much. Thank you. Uh, download the app. Again, the name, where people can find it. Yeah, uh, they can just search Quake Alert in either the iOS store or the Android store, and it'll pop up. Okay. Uh, it's Quake Alert USA, ultimately. Okay. Is the whole name. Thank you. Thank you.